My name is Vahid Chitza, as part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Awesome, awesome. My name is Daniel Umstead. I am the owner of the Robin Nathaniel Group based out of Philadelphia, PA. Thank you again so much for having me on, man. I really appreciate it. You got it, brother. So here, I got some questions for you. When it Play comes it to me. entrepreneurship and business, obviously you're independent and, and you work for yourself. What are some of the tips that you can give to people, especially during what's happening right now? A lot of individuals are going, they will like to go from the nine to five and they like to go into the business. When you made the transition, what were a couple of things that you went through that you could share with us? Some of the pitfalls that you could watch out for. Sure, sure. So, I mean, first things first, people need to take action. I, I know it's difficult. I know it's tough. But the moment that you take action towards your goals, you're going to get there. It might be a little bit. It might take a while. But taking those first steps and actions are definitely going to get there. The other thing, too, which has actually skyrocketed my business is providing value. Once you provide value in regards to helping others, and I'm talking about down to zero, folks. Yes, in order to make money, there are certain things that you're going to need to do for free. So advertise what services and products that you can offer for free as a sample to get your name out there. I agree. So, okay, so tell me a little bit about that because a lot of people worry about giving their content away, and I see that in a lot of coaches. Well, obviously – that's their service. They do coaching. So they can be coaching you when you're not there. So they put some content, but I feel like some of them still hold back a little bit. They could do a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So the four pillars that I work with is, uh, of course, motivation. That should be free anyway. Uh, the other thing that I do is resume writing. I purposely stop charging people for that because we are dealing in a crisis and it's difficult for somebody to just simply, you know, pick up the phone and call somebody. But now people are learning how to do Zoom. They're learning how to do Skype. So the one last thing that I don't want them to worry about is having to figure out how to get their resume done in addition for paying for it. So that's the other thing. Uh, I'm a realtor as well out here in Pennsylvania. So in addition to, you know, just trying to take away my first commission, I'm also letting people know, hey, here's how to sell your house. Here's how to look for a house. Uh, if I'm not going to be the right person, then I get them over to the right realtor. And then the last thing that I do is credit repair. Now, I do have my own financial services company that I work with, but some people might not need um, the full package in regards to it. So I let them know, hey, you can write out your own dispute letters. You can uh, contact uh, your medical bills in regards to disputing. You might not have the backup, but there's a lot of things that you could do on your own. And I want people to realize that because in the end, all we're doing is trying to save time. So once we save the time, money will come right to you. And I think as a country, we, 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 we were more informed, I feel like in the past, now, because of the news media and everything else, I feel like there's a lot of clutter. I feel like people are not informed. I think if people have the information, they get the education, they can take charge and they can be in control of it. That's how I feel. Like when I'm informed about something, I can take better actions. Right. Right. And, and that's what it comes down to. Um, there's so much information out here. I mean, something as simple as, or I should say something as complex as wanting to build a rocket. You know, there's tools out here. There's free resources. You know, if somebody wanted to get into chemistry, there's free resources. People can go to Coursera.org and find these classes. So, um, yes. The services are there. You can by all means go to college and get all this information, or you by all means could pay for this service to get that info. But the world is here, folks. It's time to take action, get the info that you need to move forward. I agree with that 100%. So here's my question. How do you get your self-development? How do you get your motivation? How do you keep, keep at the edge, cutting edge and learn and, and, and move forward? How are you doing it? I focus on my why, man. I think the moment that somebody has their why in place, they will move forward. My why is my son. He is the last that bears my last name is an Umstead. So I need to make sure that what I'm doing is setting him on a pathway for the future. So every single morning when I wake up 615 sharp, I get ready to start my day. The first thing I'm thinking about is my son and how I'm paving the way for him. 
under that because there's always going to be more than one why because you need to keep yourself motivated i love my boy but sometimes when he gets on my nerves it's like ah. so i keep uh I, I keep my first why to be him the rest of it is honestly the world i, I want to help create a million people to become millionaires so i need to think what's who's going to be my person today that i'm targeting who's going to be that individual that i'm helping so it, it's key it's very very key to have your why so you can move forward Uh, yeah. so at what what how did you find out your why who brought you up that to that point how did you learn that you need to have a why cuz i want to go back to like the day that you decide you like okay this is my why this what happened or like i want to go back all the way to that day because none of oh. us are born and i don't think our school system maybe there are some states some schools some teachers that are teaching that but i guess i missed that class they want to teach yeah. them in my school so it's cool i brought you to somebody out there doing it but how what was that spark for you honestly january 22nd 2019 man i know the exact date that it happened uh my why came to me when i was first learning about real estate as far as getting into it with wholesaling and somebody had asked later on the day well if you need to continue on with this you need to figure out who you're doing this for because for whatever reason as humans we can never put ourselves as our why we can never say hey i'm doing this for myself i'm doing this to make myself better because we end up uh lessening ourselves or we end up uh disappointing ourselves and that shouldn't be the case but i know if i got that why whether it be my son whether it be the millions of people that i'm trying to help moving forward that needs to stick with that so ever since january 19 2019 or january 22 2019 when i first got hit to the real estate game and what i need to do it was like click 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 and knowing the main thing is knowing how are you creating generational wealth when you can figure out how to create generational wealth through your business or through other people you're going to do fantastic and incredible things what's your favorite self help book Uh my favorite self-help book is The Go-Giver. I forgot the author, but the it is about just giving oh just giving, giving, giving. Well, the moment that you realize that you are giving and you are helping others and providing value, trust me, it's going to come back a hundred times fold and that's what people need to realize. So don't be a go-getter, be a go-giver. go be a go giver figure out how you can help people figure out how you can help somebody today the moment that somebody realizes like wait if i help this person i help that person because all industries i don't care what industry anybody is in sales marketing i don't even care if they're working at the dollar tree as a cashier the only way that you bring business to in is by word of mouth at the end of the day because it's either going to be on a good note that people love you or it's going to be a bad note and somebody needs to learn more about you but i guarantee the more that you help people the first thing that somebody's going to come out of their mouth and this is what i want to do is that hey daniel i'm said help me out with real estate daniel i'm said help me get to a million dollars daniel i'm said is key and is on point so once that keeps traveling for anybody's business or product it's moving forward i could say nike and people already think of oh shoes sneakers apparel it's already got its name in itself So I agree with that 100%. So here's my other question. Sure. I see a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners there is this fear of what other people might think of me uh. when I want to change my career or want to do something or in many cases what if I mess the shit up and I don't make it and oh, it's going to make me look bad. How do you overcome what is your recommendation to those people? you you got to fail forward you got to fail forward because the worst thing that's going to happen is 5 years from now 10 years from now 20 years from now you might be old and crippled walking around with a cane and even for the ones that still walking around all with a cane the worst thing that you can have on your mind is regret so the best thing to do is fail forward sam walton started a uh, walmart at the age of 45 colonel sanders started a uh, kfc in his 60s had they just said ah, it's not for me or not listening or it had listened to their friends and colleagues as far as saying ah this might not be a good time or this uh you might want to wait a while it's going to push them back if you go out there cuz trust me there's a whole lot more people taking action right now that you wouldn't believe that are doing way way 
way less than you and way worse than you. But the only difference is they're taking action. So the moment that somebody takes action, they provide value, they'll be doing incredible things in their life. I agree with that 100%. It's just that sometimes, you know, we care too much. I don't know when as a society we turn into, we always cared what other people thought about us. But I think lately it's just been more to be politically correct, to do this, right, to look right, all of these different things. And I'm like, shouldn't you be worried about yourself more? Exactly. Exactly. And, and people should. People should. They get caught up with what other people are going to think. They get caught up with their own mindset and what they think. Am I going to like this after this is done? Should I be putting more work into it? Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk said it best. Put your post out there. Nobody cares what color frame it is. Nobody cares what it's going to look like at the end of the day. And even if you look back on people doing past interviews or they shouldn't have said that or they did something wrong, nobody cares about it now, you know? So the idea is to continue to move forward. The idea is to continue to make mistakes because trust me, somebody's going to be quicker to help you move your car or help you with your car when they see you outside of your car trying to change the tire rather than you sitting in your car. Because they don't know what you're doing. If you're sitting in your car and your tire's flat, they're thinking like, oh, they got somebody or somebody's going to help them. They'll be okay. Meanwhile, if you're stuck in the car and you're like, ah, I don't know what to do. I don't have AAA. I don't know where to go. But if you go out there and you show the work, people are going to come in massive amounts to assist you and help you. I agree with that. I think it. I think there is a there is a underlying courage in asking for help. I see so many full grown ass men that they don't ask for help. No, I feel like no, society no. somehow somehow we created this whole entire thing that hey, you can't be asking for help. You got to show the muscles. You know, I do that sometimes too. Don't ask stupid questions that you could figure out your own. That I understand. But if there's something more advanced, more complicated, more difficult, do the shortcut. To me, it's like, yeah, I can figure it out in 10 hours, but what if I can ask somebody and ask for help in 10 minutes? 10 hours versus 10 minutes. You And you just got all the success there in one hand. You know, uh, what is it? Lewis Holes, who was doing um, interviewing and he was doing podcasts and then he was he was mentioning how he started out. He was like, yeah, I was doing a little bit here. I was doing shows here. Meanwhile, his life lesson. Hey, you got to be consistent in what you do. If you're looking to start your podcast, you need to make it relevant and you need to make it consistent. A lot of people backpedal or push away. I run into a lot of people that are running their own podcast, but they're not consistent. They say they're going to be on Mondays and Tuesdays at 4 o'clock, but if you go to the channel or you see the last time that they were on, you're like, April 2019, uh, you sure you still want to be in this? So that's why being consistent is so important and taking action and just moving forward with it. I love that. I like, and you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Consistency is the big key, right? I mean, I understand why some people don't stay consistent based on my little research is that they don't get the, the feedback or the results or the end point fast enough and they miscalculated what it takes to make it and I get this question all the time. You know, how did you make, build the big followings on Instagram, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, what's the question? They're like, yeah, can you help me grow? I'm like, I go to your page and I see 20 posts. I'm like, what are you doing? Exactly. Four times making 50 DM groups, talk and sending messages till I got blocked by Instagram on daily basis. Great. Instagram blocks me on daily basis because I hit the limits. So I'm like, have you done that? So you look at my 20th step, and you're in step two. You just want a shortcut. It's three years of working your ass off. So I don't know what you mean when you ask a question, how do you build a follow? I don't know what you're asking. When you're and, the problem, problem, and the problem is they're not asking the right questions. Hey, how did you get to 10 people a day? How do I get to 100 people to follow me by the end of this week? You know, they're just shooting for that big, big number. Oh, man, you got so many followers. You got so many people on your channel. How do I get to that? No, no, no. 
I'm, I'm already on step 20. Actually, I'm working on step 50. You just happen to see step 20 because that's what I'm showing you. Behind the door, though, I'm on step 50. But a lot of people don't, don't want to think. Don't be doing all of my secrets, man. Don't be doing all of my secrets. <laughs> I mean, step 40, step 40. <laughs> but, no, a lot of people don't want to take the small baby steps because they think that small win doesn't mean anything. I count every single follower as a win. I count every single person that subscribes to my YouTube channel as a win because that one individual is getting me closer. You can't get to 100% by staying at 99. It takes that one to reach that threshold. It takes that one dollar to get to a million. So once people realize that that one win, that one message that they put out, that one DM that they send out, that one follower that they send out, all makes a difference at the end of the day. So people need to stop looking at like, well, how can I get to 100,000 by the end of the year? Do some division, do some math. Hey, figure out how many days left you have in the year and uh, you know, divide it by how many people that you're trying to get to. And that's what you gotta do per day. And if it takes 5,000, shoot, work your behind off and do 5,000. Well, you create five Instagram accounts at one time, right? So shoot, that's 1,000 per day on each account. There's no reason why people shouldn't be successful. Or just get another phone with T-Mobile, 40 bucks, unlimited. You got five more. That makes it 10. You dropping gems on them, man. They're not ready for that. They're not ready for that. <laughs> Somebody got $40 in their pocket right now. I was like, wait, I could do what? <laughs> hey, you know, don't, don't make me pull out all my cell phones that I got. So it's, Oh, uh, man. I... <laughs> <laughs> you no, going to put AT&T on this I think it's the day that you decide to do a massive action and mm -hmm. you realize that the difference between you and where you want to go, it's probably 10 times harder than what you anticipate. And you prepare yourself for that and you're willing to pay the price, but you don't know what the price is till you're in it. And most of the time, the price is the price that you have to pay is way more than what you calculated. As long as you're okay with it, you go in it. I don't think there's that much that could stop you. Government can't stop you. Your neighbor can't stop you. Your boss can't stop you. Your company can't stop you. Nobody can stop you. There is no exterior things that could stop you once, that's what they say, a made-up mind is more powerful than anything else on this planet. You made up your mind. That's what you want to go. Now, you might not get to the target, but sure as hell you're going to get very close to it. Right. And that's what people fail on. And, and I think that goes back to your ego and your pride. People think of this high number. Oh, man, I need to get 100 leads this week or I need to make 100 sales by the end of this month. And they're looking at themselves like, well, I only made 44. Great fucking job. You made 44. Do you know how many people would love to be at 44 leads right now? 44 sales selling 44 homes? Well, I was trying to shoot for four, for 100. So what? Count your wins. Move on. Now you got to 44. Think about that one. How can I get to 45 now? How can I get to 50? How can I get an extra cell phone? <laughs> you know, it's going to take time and that knowledge. And once people realize that, they'll be good to go. No, no I agree with that. And, and I think it's a, it's a level of self-awareness that people need to get to. And unfortunately, that's not something that we don't have a pill for that. If there is no, you, you, there is no, I mean, there's, there's, you just got to want to do it yourself. I can't raise your self awareness for you. You got to be able to do it. So a lot of people don't want to do the self development, which is self work and self spend time on yourself. If you don't want to do that, there's not that much. Of, or my better question is, how are things going for you? Do you like where you're at? If you don't like it, then. You're not a tree. You can move. Right. And, and that's what people don't realize. I think there's a uh, meme that goes around with the uh, horse that's attached to the chair uh, by the string. And people are like, you know, people laugh at it. And it's like, but you're doing the same thing. You're in your nine to five thinking that, oh, I can't get out of this. Or this is the only way that I can make money. COVID's right going crazy right now and it's a global pandemic but the only way that i can make money or be comfortable and safe is by staying at this job meanwhile you got billionaires actually making more money now than that they've ever been in their life because of everything going on so it's like guys figure it out guys and gals figure it out love it how do people find you 
Yes, I am on Instagram at Daniel Umstead. I am on Facebook at Daniel Umstead. I can be reached uh, my business line two six seven seven zero two three seven five six. I can be also found on LinkedIn, Daniel uh, Umstead, and that's U M S T E A D. So, but the best thing, call or text that number two six seven seven zero two three seven five six. You need some motivation, some advice, or credit repair, real estate. Uh, <clears throat> resume writing or some motivation, hit me up. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy schedule, being with us this morning, this afternoon. Hopefully, we'll be able to do more. Stay in touch, brother. Definitely stay safe out there. You too, man. Thank you, brother. You got it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Talk to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>